G'day everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here. We thought we'd do another video about the novel coronavirus, given how all-encompassing it's become within our community. Um, it's really important at the moment that there are lots of resources out there um, for families who have a child on the spectrum. I thought today that I'd profile probably the best resource that I've seen out there and really just put it into a video for you. Now this comes from the University of North Carolina and it's what I think is a terrific resource. What they outline is a bit of a seven point plan to help um, families of kids on the spectrum um, cope and thrive during um, what's likely to be a, a very unsettling time at the moment. The first point of the plan is really to support understanding of this situation with your child on the spectrum. Um, obviously, there's a lot of information and misinformation out there. It's really important that you become that source of truth for your child. Now, you understand best how your child um, learns and understands and so it's really important that you become that source of truth and you provide them the information in a way that they understand. Number two is offer opportunities um, for them to express themselves. Of course we're all feeling a little bit of fear, some frustration, some nervousness, all sorts of uh, uh, emotions out there. It's really important that we have an, uh, a way to express that. Now you understand how your child best expresses themselves, whether it's through um, discussion, whether it's through writing, whether it's through art, whether it's through making movies. Give them the, these opportunities so that they can express their emotions and that will really help support their understanding of the situation that we now find ourselves in. Number three is talking about prioritising coping and calming skills. We all have ways in which we can calm ourselves. We know what these are. You know how your child best copes uh, and, and uses uh, the skills that they have to calm themselves. This might be through listening to music, through exercise, through all sorts of means, through watching movies. Make sure that you identify what um, uh, and how they can calm themselves, prioritise these and then make sure you structure them multiple times throughout the day. Number uh, four is about maintaining routines. As humans, we are creatures of habit. There's no doubt about that. That can be a great thing, but, but it can also be really unsettling when those routines are broken, like um, we're often going to find ourselves in now. Identify those um, aspects of your routine that you can keep and really prioritise them. Things such as sleep-wake cycles, uh, things such as eating, uh, a daily living um, uh, routines that we all go through. Ensure that you identify them and structure them throughout your day. That will really help your child on the spectrum cope and, and maintain a sense of normalcy. Number five is about building new routines. There's no doubt about it that life is a little, going to change um, either a little bit or a lot depending on where you are in the world in terms of how we go about our daily routines. Um, identify new routines that can be built into the structure of your day. Maybe identify a work, working space or a play space within your house that your child can um, play with. Um, or, or you can offer them choices so they can help build in these um, new routines within their days. Number six, foster connections. We are social animals um, and, and children on the autism spectrum are no less social animals than us. It's really important that we keep those connections, albeit remotely. Yes, we might be in our houses a bit more than normal, in fact maybe a lot more than normal, but there are all sorts of video conferencing ways in which we can keep connected to family, to friends, um, to our acquaintances, to our work. It's really important that, um, uh, that kids on the spectrum also have those opportunities, building these opportunities to foster connections every day. And finally, be aware of any challenge, uh, changing behaviour. Um, there is no doubt we're going through an unsettling time right now and um, it would be um, a miracle if there are no um, changing behaviours or fear or frustration that our kids experience. It's going to happen. What we need to do and the best thing that we can do is monitor this. So keep on top of sleep-wake cycles, keep on top of eating behaviour, um, any changes in other behaviour that we see throughout the day. Most clinical services will be running remote video conferencing uh, services, so if you do identify anything, do contact them. Now finally from me, this is no doubt that we are in a, a really unsettling situation. What I want to say is that we are going to get through this and it will only be a temporary time, but we do need to come together as a community to make sure we heed all of those public uh, health messages um, and make sure that we come through this stronger than we did before. 
One really important thing for me is that we have fun along the way. So please do keep watching um, this video series and we'll make sure that we put a smile on your face.